Hello and welcome to episode 27 of the correct second second Korean War with me Bubblebox and we're just trying to secure the perimeter around Pyongyang and hopefully going to be able to move into Pyongyang quite soon. We've got two more sectors that we need to try to uh, wrestle hold of from the North Koreans, uh, uh, sorry from the Chinese I think are in this one and the Russians in this one. So we'll fight the battle in Thaikon. I'll go for the statistics fairly quickly. I'll try and get both of these battles into this episode. So basically they've got tank commands, lots of support, nice support as well, but we're not worried too much about that because we haven't got any helicopters or choppers. Then they've got their main force, which are their tanks. They've got these nice ZTZs. They've got some 85 2As, which cost 80 points each. They've got 50, 50 of those. A nice medium tank with a decent AP power of 18 and a nice accuracy of 55% and an okay range. Then they've got the really nice ZTZ 85.3s, a heavier tank, really nice accuracy again with a bit of a stabilizer and a nice AP power of 21 and decent armor on this guy as well. They've got some recon and a bunch of vehicles that are basically ATGM units. So especially this guy to look out for, the WZ-550, a real gem in the Chinese deck. Would just cost 80 points, it's got a range of 2,975, best part of 3,000 meter range, that's huge. Actually 70%, AP power 26, really, really nice unit in the vehicle section of the Chinese deck. You should really get that if you have them in your, if you choose to one of those decks. And that's it, that's all they've got. I'll say all, they're very nice tanks and anti-tank weapons. We've got a bunch of logistics uh basic uh logistics sort of vehicles we've got cargoes we've got the works up there basically we've got a nice selection of infantry which we'll have a look at in game all different types of infantry not too many but quite a different few different types to choose from we've then got some arrows and stuff support again we won't need these they haven't got any choppers or airplanes either then we've got our tanks which really aren't up to the job brennises they're really good against light armor and infantry, but against these medium and heavy tanks, they're going to really struggle, mainly because of their relatively light armor compared to the air opposition. And these AMX-10s, they're just not going to cut it at all in this battle. Then we've got a bunch of recon and some Mitsubishi Shumat ATGMs, which could come in quite useful in this battle. So let's launch the battle and have a look at the battle map, decide what we're going to do. I think we're probably going to have to go quite a lot with our infantry to get defending to start with at least anyway while the uh, enemy spams a little bit. So probably won't go for Pyongyang uh, at the start at least because it's quite open ground. There's a bit of forest but I'd prefer to go to the areas with buildings and start off like in Tanchon as my base to get my land units in. And then we've got some buildings in alpha and foxtrot and they're both worth four points so i might go for quite a lot of holding ground at the start so yeah i think we'll get some um infantry commands out we'll stick one over here in um yeah we'll stick one over here in fox we'll stick one in alpha probably about here we'll get rid of that fob get rid of the mitsubishi command we'll put another infantry command over in tanchon and then we'll get some infantry out to sit and defend and absorb their spam. I might bring in Bremises later, but they're certainly not going to be my weapon of choice at the start of this battle. Now we've got these nice Shumats, perfect ATGM weapons. So we're going to stick a couple of them guys in there. Should be able to take pot shots at this road. In fact, I'll put my that up there. And I'll put some more Shumats in here. And then we'll put some, I think, over here to cover this road as well. Uh, yep, they should be able to. Yep, if I put them in that front building, they should do okay in there. Uh, I hope. And then we've got this road. They're either going to come down this road or this bridge around there or this bridge around there. Um, they could, I suppose, come through there as well. But they're more likely to come down one of these three roads. So I've got to definitely cover these. We've got a couple of buildings there with a sort of a short causeway up to the top of that little uh, hillock. And we're going to put some reamers. I've got, I've got no more, yeah, we'll put some reamers on perhaps on one side of there, and we'll put a bunch of kutais on the other side, and then we'll fill up these buildings with infantry as well. So we'll, reamers are really good; they've got a nice AP power. So we'll pick, put a few of them in the front building there, so that the tanks hopefully will run into those once these have run out of ammo, and we'll put some kutais in there as well. Um, Kutai's have got more 
rockets, but um, they're slightly less powerful, I believe, against tanks and stuff. And of course, they will be coming mainly with tanks because they haven't got infantry. So I think we've filled up all of our infantry slots. Yep. So we'll bring in a bit of recon. Oh, we haven't got a lot of points left, actually. We'll bring in a bit of recon so we can maybe see what's coming a little bit. And I'll put that there and I'll put it maybe in these trees. And we'll get one so we can see if it's coming down this road here. Along here, maybe sort of a sneaky peek across there as well. And uh, I might be just gonna get a couple of cargoes in case we need them. And that's going to be... Um, put them in there. About it. Let's get this game launched. And... Oh, we'll unload everything and we'll get our little trucks out of the way first of all get these HMVs all back into uh, this little forest here and we'll get our VABs out of there as well sitting targets get our Mitsubishis down here covering those trees and get our other Mitsubishi uh, we'll move that fast just over to there so it can keep an eye on what's going on we'll just speed up just a little bit until we see some red dots on the map um expecting them to sort of spam along these routes really and uh, with their tanks and hopefully we can take enough of their tanks out to try and win the game or at least to draw uh, and deplete their forces i'm going to start bringing cargo trucks in right from the beginning to resupply our infantry if required oh actually i forgot we had these vehicles these shoe mats these could come in very very useful so oh we have we have trouble arriving. Let's get it down to normal speed. Looks like tanks. Shoe mats should be firing. Let's get the cargoes over as well so we can get plenty of ammo. There's quite a lot of tanks. But the shoe mats should do well. I say should. They are quite a lot. They're the, they're the three. They're the 85.3s as well, which are really powerful. Oh, a lot, a lot of heavily armoured tanks coming down the road. Now, once they run into these reamers, they should run into trouble, I'm hoping. I was hoping these shoe mats would fire as well, but they obviously haven't quite got a line of sight. Why they're firing on these guys? Because they're not in the building, that's why. It's stupid. Get in the building, that's better. Okay, so these reamers are actually getting cut down worse than I thought they would. And it's, this guy is being a pain with its... Yeah, that's an anti-air weapon cutting through our infantry, actually. But they are managing to take care, and they need to get some more infantry in to take their place, and we should be able to get rid of this. I hope, um, actually, yeah, can we just take this last guy out maybe, can we move forward, perhaps, we need to take this last one out, let's get these, let's get these shoe map vehicles in as well, we're going to need these, definitely going to need those, let's get some cargoes across to resupply, let's get some more infantry up as well, let's get some more reamers, and uh, some more ties as well Got more things coming in actually this is coming a bit faster than I expected we need these shoe mats perhaps what is that some recon with a gun I don't know. how does that see what's in there that's ridiculous move these shoe mats up I hope they don't get killed before they get into the building yes good Okay, we've got our Mitsubishi shoe mats as well, so we'll move them forward and help out a little bit. Keep them going forward. Just got to get rid of this recon. It seems they're allowing their tanks to see our infantry and shoot at them. Is that going to get in range? I don't want my cargoes to go down. Can't run back. Got more shoe mats back here. We'll send them up the back way, and then uh, I guess we can bring in more infantry. Can you not kill this guy? Who's he shooting? How does it see our infantry when our infantry aren't firing? I just don't get that sometimes. I really don't. Let's try and hustle this guy up into this front building. Now surely you can shoot him. Surely. There we go. I didn't even need a bit of prompting. Wow, they fire really quite fast. Let's get these back into some trees. Into a bit of cover. We'll send the others up here. And we really need these to get resupplied these infantry and we'll bring up some more cargoes oh, one is that all I've got left let's bring some of these things okay okay oh well come on okay, we've got a few more here we need these infantry fully resupplied got more shoe mats here and we've got some more infantry arriving so we can kind of relieve these guys 
I might put them up at the front and put these back down to this one. And these Kutais can come back for a little rest. And these guys can go in for their place. These can come back for a bit of R&R. &R. So we can actually stop. Oh, we need this cargo to go forward and supply these shoe maps. How many they've got left? Yeah, they've only got eight. Okay, I'll get myself sorted in a minute, don't worry. Unload. HMB's back. Okay, so back to a good strength here now. Unload, Bab's back. Okay, ready for the next wave, if it ever comes. Got some more infantry. We'll hold them a little bit in reserve. Oh no, actually we've got a building here we can put them in. Stick them in there. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit. We're waiting for the enemy to arrive again. It's going to be a struggle to kick them out, I think, getting 3,000 points and what the time's left, but I can't really attack against their big tanks with my Brennesses. It's just not going to work, so... We're fully loaded here again, and I'm hoping they'll send a lot more staff. They have taken Pyongyang, which means they could come sort of maybe even across this bridge. So I might want to put some infantry in here. I'll just put one little squad of Kutai just so we get a bit of early warning. Wow, that was a tank went the spout there. Missed. I missed that. So I might leave those two cargoes there. Yeah, back up to good strength here now. Saw some more red coming down there. Let's just put it back to normal just for a second. Although I'm not going to be doing much mic rig. I'm just going to let them run into my infantry really. So I could keep it. Now we'll leave it at normal speed. Don't want to make it look too artificial. Bring another cargo forward. This Schumacher could do really, really well if they don't come too quickly and too densely. Boom. Oh, down to one health. One more shot. There she blows. Three and they all hit. Fantastic. What is the accuracy on these things? Accuracy is actually 60%. Although all three of those hit. So maybe I was just quite lucky there. Got another cargo in position. So we'll get them guys hooked up. And get that other cargo out of the way. There's another 2A coming around here. This is now in a very nice position. As long as I can keep it charged up. So I'll bring some more. Split those cargos actually before I bring them forward. Um, if I can. Nothing coming from the other direction yet. Bring another cargo forward. Get that one out of the way. I don't want to bring them all forward because they can sort of cause some sort of um, chain explosion if I'm not careful. But I think it's got plenty of ammo. Nine left. They seem to be sending them singly after their big rush at the start. Maybe because they're quite expensive and they can't like spam too many at once. Let's try to take this guy out. One health left. There he goes. There's another 80 points. Excellent. I'm sure I saw another one peek its head round. Now we are getting a lot of points, so we could bring some Brennuses in now. And I'm going to bring them in in kind of groups of... Maybe into groups of ten. Groups of three. So I'll bring nine in. I'll bring those ten in. Another... Ooh, what got hit there? Ooh, okay, cargo back, other cargo in. More Brennus is out. In, out, in, out, check it all about. There we go. And we've got uh, six elite. So once I get a lot of Brennus, I'll be happy to attack four, but we've only got two, like, and they're coming up against these things. The Brennus are going to get murdered. Schumat is down, actually. Let's get another cargo. We're managing to keep him nice and recharged. This shoe mat is doing fantastically. It's a shame I lost the other one. I could have had two sets of two in there. There's another one on the other side, just in case. There. Here comes another 2A. The 2As, the, the threes tend to fare a bit better against these 80 gems, but the 2As, they just haven't got the armor to deal with it. So he's down half. So this will take him down. Oh, yep, yeah, one health. These, these, these are just not missing. 40% accuracy, but they're just not missing. They're seriously not missing. 60% accuracy, sorry. Get another cargo in. Get these cargoes forward. Get some more resupply in as well, I think. Oh, I've got one of them left. What else have we got? Got a load of these things. I think we can bring a bunch of them in as well. And oh, something got hit. A couple more Brennuses. Where are they? Oh, found the tank. There we go. Okay, it's still alive. Good, good, good. They're just drifting in one by one. Just what we like. Take them out. There goes another one.
Oh, he's had enough. You don't turn your back on an ATGM, Mr. Tank. And that's what happens. Alright, we need more cargoes over here for resupply. Get these ones out. There's another red. We're gonna run out of run out of rockets before. If we're not careful. Ooh, wow. Knocked his turret right off. It's actually out of ammo now, those shoe mats. They need these cargoes really quickly. This one is coming, another one coming in. Oh, there's another couple coming in. Come on, come on. Yeah. Brennis is coming in in good numbers now. Get another couple in. Again, I'm not attacking till I've got a big enough force. I'm not going to commit too early. There's another hit. And another one. And there she blows. Another 80 points. And more resupply, please. Because you can. Because you can. Oh, and straight away there's another tank coming in. They're just never missing. They never miss. I can't believe it. Wow. Wow. So we've got seven minutes left. Still need a lot of points though. I'm wondering whether it's time to maybe... No, they're still coming. I won't push forward till I have to. I could always leave it till like the last five minutes maybe. Comes the next target. The next victim. The next Chumat victim. I haven't seen one miss yet. Famous last words. Nope, still not one missed. Amazing. Any more? Come on. You know you want to. It could be timed. Oh, no, here comes another one. Wow. That's another hit. Another hit. Third one will take it out. Normally does. And here's the wreckage. There we go. Actually, that Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful. How are we doing for supply? We better get a few more cargoes nice and close. This tube map needs a resupply as well. Another tank coming in. You take bets on when this thing's going to miss. Even, even hits going over all those tanks. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's now an elite, so it's just never ever going to miss now, is it? Look at that. Boom. Another victim. And still they come. They're very brave, keep coming down that road. I, I, maybe I only needed ever to put this unit out in this game. Just backed up with a load of cargoes, I don't know. Let's get our empty cargoes back. Pull these Brennuses forward just a little bit. Meanwhile, back on the death road. Death road. I say, oh, he's backing up this time. Still is going to get taken out. Yep. Okay, how long have I got left? Five minutes. I need to push forward if I want to try and push them out. We're going to have to push forward, I think. Let's let him have another few shots off. Gonna run out of supply soon anyway. Um let's get some rest of our infantry in to support. Let's start nudging these guys forward. We only need one thousand five hundred and fourteen. Okay, let's push forward now. It's soon gonna be out of ammo anyway. I don't want to get any more cargoes in. Beautiful. Okay, here we 
go. Tack forward up there. Get our shoe mats and our recon helping out a little bit. See the hunting in the last three minutes. Yeah, oh, come on, am I going to do this? I'd really like to push them out. But I am going to probably have to fast move these to get into Jean Chon. And I've got to be wary, they've still got those 80 GM units, which I might just have to take a chance. I'm probably going to get blown apart, but what can you do? I would like these infantry to go in first, but I don't think I've quite got enough time. Taking that out, yeah, good. I'm just gonna have to run these through to Zhong Chon. Another one. Don't want to slow down if I can help it. You're going the wrong way. Okay, let's just attack move the front few. So we can take these tanks out. Oh, there's a load of stuff over there as well. I'm gonna shoot these cargoes. Oh look, PDZ. Wow, 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 come on. Yeah, there's... Oh, that's yeah, they're tanks, aren't they? Oh, there's ATGMs. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's wrong, that's what's going to rip me. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to get the points. Let's get our infantry across if we can. Still need a lot of points. There's a few. Keep going. There's another more big tanks over there. Come on, come on, come on. Unload. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Quite gonna do it. One minute twenty-five. Yeah, I'm not quite gonna do this. Let's try and get this guy down. If I could find that uh, command tank, it's gonna be worth a couple of hundred points. If I can find it. Oh, there's an HQ61. That's worth a few points as well. the command. Oh, what's that? That could be a command. Let's run our infantry over there. 49 seconds. Oh, man, we only need 309 points. Oh, we only need 124 points. That's worth 125, is it? Is that worth 125 points? We could... Yes! I think we did it. I think... Yeah, 19 minutes, 24 seconds. We just did it. Fantastic. Okay. Woo! That was close. Okay. I think, uh, yeah, brilliant. We're going to end the episode there, actually. We'll do this last battle here uh, to end our turn in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please do comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know how you're getting in the campaign yourselves. And I'll see you in the next episode.